Hey there folks and welcome back to the crop garden. So I just thought we'd have a quick look at our French bean plants here again and we can see if we have a rummage in the foliage here we have masses of um, long podded cobra French beans. Now I've been picking these non-stop uh, but they keep producing non-stop which is as, as they will um, but it is really important just to keep harvesting them because otherwise they will stop producing pods. And at this size, um, that's about your limit really for French beans. After that, they start to get a little bit stringy. And then to harvest them then, you simply just um, put your two fingers either side of the uh, top of the stem and push your thumb through the middle and snap them off. And you can very easily uh, harvest with one hand uh, without damaging the plant at all. And then if we move a bit further down then and have a look in here, um, these are our balotto beans. So we have these lovely um, long purple flecked or magenta flecked pods. Now I will be harvesting some of these for the kitchen, but most of them I'm going to leave because I'm growing these for drying. So we will be um, letting those ripen and the pods get dry and papery um, uh, towards the end of the season. And then we're going to be uh, harvesting those beans, as I said, uh, for keeping uh, over winter. Final variety then, this is Necker Gold, and, they, and it produces these lovely uh, yellow pods. Um, really nice when harvested young like that. And I suppose the other advantage of the yellow beans is they're much easier uh, to find when you're harvesting them. So that's it. So our, our French beans keep picking really, uh, is the uh, mantra here. The more you pick, uh, the more beans they produce. 